Hey fellow terrarians, so gem trees, gem corns and gems. What's the best way to farm gems? In 1.4 we can now plant gem trees, gem corns. Um, so this is my farm, right? So just to give you a couple of uh, tips here. So one, it's very important to have at least 16 tiles clear and vertical clearance and three tiles horizontal clearance between the saplings as you can see here right so plant them three at least three blocks as apart from each other and have enough uh, 16 at least 16 blocks clear vertical clearance above the saplings okay so this is uh, what makes them grow faster right Op optimal conditions now as you can see you can actually go all the way almost to the surface right as long as there is still a little bit of a underground background basically available um, behind the saplings themselves e even if the tops of the trees extend into the surface level okay and let's harvest and see how many how many gems and and, um, and how much stone we get from it right so and on, on average this farm so this is not a huge farm as you can see here only three rows uh, it produces about 100, 120 um, ember per session, right? So per harvest, which is not bad because it completely regrows uh, back within an hour of gameplay. Play, so you can actually get quite a bit of um, of money this way. And think about this: each hundred gems essentially uh, translate into one platinum coin. So one hour, uh, you can actually get platinum coin by just harvesting for one minute harvesting all these uh, gem trees okay so um, another thing to consider there uh, in, and I've seen people uh, having issues with gem trees not growing fast or not growing at all so you need to be careful about potential moss on the stone so if you notice any moss or any dripping water around you avoid those areas so you need to patch it up you need to remove those uh, the dripping water source and also uh, uh, so avoid planting um, gem, gem corns on any areas that are uh, covered with moss because that will slow down or completely inhibit the growth of gem trees this is very important and as you can see even though there is water on the left side there is a pond but there is no connection there's no dripping water reaching the stone uh, the stone level on which the trees are planted. All right, so the next thing we need to keep in mind is uh, light. Okay, so light. Don't put any torches or candles or any sources of light, basically, or any blocks for that matter, inside the, uh, the farm. That is meaning that all those 16 by 3 tiles around each tree should be free of any items even platforms if you place platforms this can impede or inhibit growth of trees okay so you do need light obviously and you see light right underneath this uh, row of uh, stone yes you can see those torches so that's basically uh, that doesn't affect anything so i checked with and without light and the, the rate of uh, tree growth is pretty much the same okay so and when you place those trees, uh, look at this. So if you auto place using control, left control button, right? So it's gonna just um, ran, uh, naturally place them three tiles apart. And this is exactly what we need for optimal uh, farming, right? So, and as you can see, we just placing back uh, all the gem corns. Usually you would have always some extras, 10%, maybe more. Okay, so and we've collected 111 uh, amber corns. <laughs> you see, immediately trees are uh, springing up. Okay, so and oh, oh, yeah, two stacks of two and a half stacks of uh, st uh, stone basically. So, this is it, guys. In a nutshell, this is how this farm works, right? So, you leave it for one hour. Uh, and basically it's gonna repopulate so the trees will regrow and it's going to be um, ready to, to harvest again so so just to summarize the uh, uh, key aspects key things vertical clearance 16 blocks uh, spacing between saplings three blocks okay no moss no dripping uh, liquid 
and um, no blocks inside in the clearance right so that's it that this is in a nutshell and at this point I would probably um, I could just hop in and bring my bed with me and and just see fast forward the time see how how they regrow right let's do that okay so see right away there is one spring on the right okay so four five see I mean immediately there oh okay never mind guys blood moon is rising okay so that essentially uh, yeah, so you can no longer fast forward time. So basically, but I mean you get the point And the time will go as usual in game without any speeding before fast forwarding. Okay, so and Yeah, so in a nutshell this this type of uh, gem corn gem tree farm is very good Obviously early game you can make a lot of money using it combining with sand and, and sand transformed into uh, stained basically stained glass and stained glass sells for a lot of gold you can make um, per one stack of st uh, stained glass you make about 40 to 50 gold right so that, that is pretty good and so it, it usually would take you 100 gems to to get 1.2 1.3 platinum depending on the happiness of your NPCs so this is a very good method thank you guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video